Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I did the DIY plaster dining table. I'm using a product called Joint Compound, so it's not actually plaster, but it gives this really beautiful textured finish. I've used this before and absolutely love it. So I'm going to be showing you how I did that. We're using the Doxta IKEA table, and I've had this for about six years. It's completely dinged up. I'll show some clips here and it just needs some new life. So I want to upcycle it, make it a little bit more my style now. And um, I just love the way that it turned out. So I'm excited to show you all the products I use, how I did everything. So if you want to see the finished result, then just keep watching. So this is the product that we're using. I got that from Home Depot for about $6. And it's just your all-purpose joint compound from the brand Westpac. So I'm turning over the table so we can start on the underside and just giving a little bit of a wipe down. And we're off to the races. So I'm using a spatula that I also got in a three-pack from Home Depot for really cheap. They're just plastic spatulas. And I'm using that to apply the joint compound onto the table. So I'm just trying to get a nice even layer spreading it out and it just takes some time. It's a pretty repetitive process, but it's actually quite therapeutic, so. Just going all the way around until I get that nice, even layer. And then I'm actually gonna use the next size up. So the three pack comes in a small, medium, and large spatula. So I use the medium one to apply, and then I'm going back with larger spatula and that just helps to get out any of those ridges and now we are moving on to what is like the tulip part the leg the base of the table this part is super challenging because of the shape it's hard to get it smooth and really even especially around the curved edge at the bottom what it looks like it's starting to dry and I'm just gonna let it get um, not all the way dry but just so it starts to set and I'm gonna go in with a wet rag and I'm going to kind of buff out all of those texture and all those lines because I don't want it to look super lumpy and stripy so the wet rag is super key to getting that smooth finish that you want Now it's dry to the touch so I can flip it over and start on the top side. Again, just doing the same process and adding the joint compound onto the table and using the trowel or the spatula to spread it out, making sure it's a nice even layer, coating every single part. You don't want any of the table underneath to be showing through. For the edges, I'm using that small spackle spatula to add enough product on and then just smoothing it out. Here we go, moving on to the bottom using that smaller spatula to try and get in that curved area and then going with an, the larger one to smooth it out as much as I can. 
Again, this part is really challenging because of the curve and the shape, so just do the best you can if you have a similar table to mine. If not, then you can just go around and make do with what you have. Okay, hello everyone. It is the next day. Yesterday I did the first coat of the joint compound plaster um, finish on the table and I think it's looking really good. I'm loving the way it's turning out. So today I need to do um, some touch-ups in areas that are thinner and where I kind of wiped it away to smooth it out. It, it um, I wiped away too much. And then I'm going to probably sand down some of it just to um, smooth out the finish on top if there's any rough pieces and then we'll start painting. So it's going to be a big day. It actually hasn't been 24 hours to fully dry it so I might have to wait until tomorrow to do the painting but I'll keep you updated on that. So um, I'll go into the other room right now. I'm just in my bedroom sitting in this really fun chair that I found on the side of the road. You never know what you're gonna find in LA, so that was the score. But um, today I gotta get started on that because I have class in the afternoon. So I'll show you what the table is looking like right now and then we'll get to sanding and some more plastering. This is what the top is looking like after it's been dried and it's looking pretty good. I like the texture. So I just going to want to knock down any of those sharper edges or ridges and I'm going behind the sanding block with my vacuum to try and get up any of that dust because when you're working with joint compound, you're sanding, make sure that you wear a mask um, and that you don't want to breathe any of that product in. So we don't want to take out all of the texture, we just want to give it a smoother finish. And then you can see here I'm just patching a few little areas that needed some extra joint compound where I wiped away too much. So now we're going to do a full coat of primer. So this is the semi-gloss paint and primer that I'm using and you see here that I'm taking out the paintbrush from some foil. A hack is any like paintbrush, foam roller that you've used and you're going to use it the next day. Wrap it in some foil and or a plastic bag and you can put it in the fridge and leave it overnight and then when you want to use it the next day it's still moist and it's not dried out so you can still continue painting without having to clean after every single day. Of using the brush and I'm using a semi gloss finish because I want just a little bit of shine and I want it to be easy to clean since it is a dining table and I'll be using it to have breakfast and coffee at and I just want to make sure it's easy to clean so that way it's not a hassle to maintain okay it's time to show you the finished result and thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment or subscribe if you feel so inclined to. Thanks for watching and here's the finished table.